It's round three of the English Premiership and a huge game for West Ham United fans the world over as our team travelled to Old Trafford and God help us on Saturday night, 18.30 CET on the basis of what I've seen so far this season, God help us. Anyway, Richie, Man United won 16, the draw 650, West Ham 18, yeah. what can we say? Well, I mean, remember 2006-2007, you did yes. the double over Man United, yes. two, two one nil wins, mighty Tevez saved you from relegation. No, I was going to say, there was a slight a little chap called Carlos Tevez yeah, yeah, playing yeah. on our side in those days. He's long gone. And yeah. I think the only other time recently we've beaten, beaten them was when Paulo De Cano was in the team. That's right. Yeah. I, I don't think we've got anyone quite of that calibre, unfortunately. It's a, it seems a long time Much ago. Much as I love Carlton Cole, I don't think he's no. Paulo De Cano no. or, or a Carlos Tevez. And Carlton Cole let you down on Saturday against Bolton. Well, uh, a missed penalty and a 3-1 defeat, that was a bad defeat really. Absolutely unbelievable. And of course, Manchester United were just chomping at the bit to get at us because they basically did miss an opportunity against Fulham. Exactly. Although right. Fulham played extremely well. They, they were very good for them, yeah. Yes. Were, I mean, Manny's miss, you know, another penalty miss, and yes. they'll, be, they'll, they'll be ruining that. And as you say, they'll be hungry. And too. if Rooney is back in the team, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're, you're going to be in trouble. I mean, 6 0 is a popular result so far in the Premiership, <laughs> and it's 30 point zero with 6 0. Well, that really would be desperate. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, four or more goals. Is 210. West Ham just to score a goal, 2.25. It's getting worse by the minute. No, this no. is just <laughs> this is terrible, Richie. No. Is there any good news for West Ham fans out there? Well, I, ca I can't really see it. I mean, no. all right, Fulham. Fulham did it. You know, a, a good job on Man United. Yes. But I mean, West Ham are not. I don't think they're in Fulham's class. And you know, away from home at the Theatre of Dreams, I can't see it. I mean, 1.53 United to be leading at half time, full time. There'll be some heavy hitters going for that. And you know, I can only see one way traffic, I'm afraid. Well, I, I think, obviously, I think West Ham will just go out to try and frustrate yep, Manchester yep, United. Yep. But of course, the minute the first goal go, goes in, the floodgates yep, yep. open. I mean, the last four meetings, United have won 10 0. Yes. Uh, you know, on aggregate, on Man yep, score, so yep. I can't see it, mate. Sorry. No. Well, anyway, let's go on to more positive um, matters. And on Sunday afternoon, there's a, actually an equally intriguing match yep. Aston Villa against Everton. This one kicks off at 1700 yep. CET. And actually, this is a case in point, Richard, where the form lines are so incredibly hard to work out yeah, at this early stage. Tough, we've got Villa 245, the draw 315, and then we've got Everton 290. I and mean, when you look at the form, Villa beat West Ham very comfortably. And then, West Ham were well backed in that game they as were, well. They were absolutely thrashed off the park by Newcastle. Yeah. You couldn't make that up. Yeah. I mean, where did that come from? No. And then you had Everton lost to Blackburn and yeah. drew with Wolves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Wolves, I think they only had one shot in the game and, you know, snatched the 1 1, so they'd be disappointed with that. I mean, Villa had another penalty miss on, yeah. on, on the Sunday. You know, Karim missed that penalty and that would have put them 1 0 up. Yes. But after that, I mean, they were just absolutely destroyed. I mean, that cameraman there, he's, he's holding his head <laughs> in his hands, the Villa fan. I mean, I don't know what was happening there. But this is like a. Um, they're playing for European places. These two guys, they'll be up there. They certainly are. And, um, yes. you know, the last yes. three meetings have been draws. Yep. Uh, last four out, four out of the last six meetings have been overs. Uh, and we've got 2.0 that will be overs again. Yeah, I must admit that's the way I would like to go. Yeah. I can see it's being a relatively entertaining game, yeah. but I, I frankly couldn't come off the fence and not back the draw. No, here, no. But, uh, I mean, they've both got midweek games. Villa in the Europa Cup. Yes. Uh, Everton dismissed Huddersfield 5 1 in the Carling Cup. Yeah. So. Maybe a bit of fatigue, but you know, not too much. And I think it'd be a tight affair. I mean, 3.15 look, look, looks fair enough. Well, on I suppose on basis of what's happened so far, a draw would actually suit both. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. be unhappy with yeah, it, would they? Yeah. So there we are, a quick review of the two big games this weekend in yeah. the Premiership. We've got Richie absolutely convinced that West Ham are going to be pulverised at yeah. Old Trafford. Yeah. All I can say, West Ham fans out there, miracles do happen. Yeah. And then Villa Everton, we both think there'll be a stalemate. Anyway, the, it's a great weekend of Premiership football. Yeah. Everything's priced up on the site. You miss none of the action. It all switches over into the live betting and running. Great fun. So have good, good luck with all your bets. Enjoy the weekend and see you very soon. Cheers.